Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I am Zoe. Today we have a good amount of stuff to talk about because it has been a while since our last episode. We've been so busy on our other channel, A Fast Break, making Olympic content. It has been our focus for the last week and a half or so. So that has been why we've been a little bit more absent on this channel, but we're back for another episode. We're going to be talking about Taylor Swift kind of making her Olympic debut and also whether or not she'll be performing at the closing ceremonies. We're going to talk about the um, first draft songs, tracks that Taylor has released with some um, vulnerable changes, should we say. We're going to talk about her shows in Poland, the surprise songs, her VMA nominations. There's a lot to get into. Let's start off with those first draft phone memos that we got to listen to. I think they came out last week. Uh, a few different songs off of TTPD. This is something Taylor has done a lot in the past when um, she puts, she, if she puts out an album, she will oftentimes include the, 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 first, the first draft of these songs. And it's always Taylor recording on her phone. Usually, I mean, I'm assuming that she's sending these tracks to her uh, producers or other writers or whatever to get their opinions. And it's always so interesting because we obviously, the first time we ever hear these songs is the final complete version. And then to hear her kind of working through the lyrics, working through the melody, including lyrics that maybe don't make the final version. It's just always interesting to see how a song originates, I guess. And so we got to listen to a couple of them. I want to focus, though, on the one that she put out for My Boy Only Breaks His Favorite Toys. One, because she plays the song in this phone memo draft thing she plays the song on the piano which is interesting because the song is obviously not a ballad uh it's i wouldn't say it's upbeat but it's a more upbeat song um which is interesting she also mentions in that voice memo that she's like i know it sounds sad but i'm sad which it's hard to imagine i mean for for the last year taylor has been dating travis kelsey and she has seemed so happy, so in love, just such in a good place that it's, I, I often forget the fact that prior to meeting Travis and then like that time between her breakup and then meeting Travis, she was really in a dark place and going through something really, really difficult. Um, so anyway, it was just interesting to hear that breakdown. She also um, kind of like we got a look at a song lyric that she ended up changing. So the actual lyric in the song is just when I'd play again he was my best friend down at the sandlot but initially in the piano version of the song she sings he was my best friend and that was the worst part which is a lot more sad and depressing um and yeah it just makes me also happy that she's in, in a better place emotionally and just seems a lot happier obviously okay let's get to some other parts um, or things that she's been up to. So as I mentioned, she kind of made her Olympics debut in quotes. She narrated an Olympics video that came out over the weekend featuring Shikari Richardson, Katie Ledecky, Simone Biles. It was so cool. I loved it. It was also set to the song Style. Beyonce had narrated a video a few days earlier about Simone. And so Taylor being there and kind of doing, not being there physically, but putting her stamp on the Olympics um, and shining a light on those three female athletes was very cool. Now, there have been a lot of rumors that Taylor may be performing at the closing ceremony. I don't, I think it's highly unlikely. I think it's unlikely considering the fact, so she, she plays in Vienna, I think Friday and Saturday, maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but she, she does not have a show on Sunday, August 11th, which would be the day of the closing ceremony. So it is technically possible that she could be there. Um, however, I just feel, and, and the reason that she would be, I should say too, for those who don't know, is obviously the next Olympics, Summer Olympics, is going to be in, in Los Angeles. And it's a tradition during the closing ceremonies that there's a part of the closing ceremonies about the host city sort of passing along the duties of the Olympics to the next host city. So there's going to be a lot of elements of Paris and France passing along the Olympics to LA and the US. And so there's a, a belief that there's going to be a lot of American celebrities involved, maybe American performers, that kind of thing. And so obviously people think Taylor Swift could be there. I also, I mean, could she perform a like something off of 
her tour, like a performance that she already has choreographed and organized? Yes. But again, has she had time to like rehearse a performance for the Olympics? Not really. I just, it's hard to believe. So do I think it's going to happen? No. Is it possible? Sure. Sure. Anything's possible with Taylor Swift. Um, let's quickly go through her Poland shows. I know we didn't really talk about that, uh, but... And there, and there hasn't, there's not a ton to talk about. I do want to just quickly go over the surprise songs. Um, so she did Mirrorball, Clara Bow, and Suburban Legends, New Year's Day, Night One. Solid, not my favorite. Then she did on Night Two, I Can Fix Him, No Really I Can, and I Can See You. And then Red and Maroon. Very strong, especially the Red Maroon mashup. That for me would be big time. I love Red. That song is so good. And Maroon is obviously a great song too. But it was night three for me that I would have wanted to be at, which was today was a fairy tale mashed up with I Think He Knows and then The Black Dog in Exile. Doesn't get much better than that, in my opinion. All four songs are fantastic. I would have wanted to be at night three. As I said, Taylor has just two more cities left on this European leg. She plays in Vienna and then she's got that run of shows back in London and then she is done. And I kind of have to imagine that Taylor is pretty is ready to be done. It's been a long tour. It's probably been grueling. She hasn't been home in a long time. Like it just has to be pretty exhausting. Obviously Travis has been at training camp in Kansas City and I think she's probably looking forward to just relaxing for a little bit, being back in her homes, being back with her friends and family, being back with Travis. Um, But she doesn't have that much time off because she starts touring again in the beginning of October. Um, So she probably has like six weeks off or something, which I guess is a decent amount of time. But anyway, I bet she's excited to be done. I don't want to give a lot of energy to the Kanye West line that people have been talking about. Kanye West had a new song. There was a Taylor Swift line in the song. I'm not even going to talk about that. If you want to look it up, you can look it up yourself. Though some people do feel like Taylor maybe made a little dig at Kanye or a nod to Kanye. Um, because during the red set, I think following the release of the song, she wore the shirt that said, I bet you think about me. People assume, obviously that's a title of one of her songs, but also kind of like Kanye West is still going on and on about Taylor Swift after all these years and kind of making rude, unnecessary remarks, which is just par for the course of Kanye West. But anyway, again, I'm not going to give him any energy or time of day. Okay, final part part of of today's episode, we're going to talk about the VMAs, the VMA nominations. Taylor got many nominations for the VMAs this year. So she's nominated for Video of the Year for Fortnite, Song of the Year for Fortnite, Artist of the Year, Best Pop Video, Best Direction, Best Collaboration, Best Cinematography, Best Editing, Best Visual Effects, Best Art Direction. And actually right now, I'm going to look up when the VMAs are, They're September 10th. So I think there is a strong possibility that Taylor Swift will be at the VMAs because she'll be able to be at the VMAs. Um, And um, unless she has other plans or just wants to be out of the public eye for a little bit, I think we'll probably see Taylor at the VMAs. Um, And yeah, I'm sure she'll take home some, some wins too. So that is that for today's episode. Kind of all over the place. Nothing crazy has happened in recent days, weeks but um, enough to have a good discussion. As I mentioned, we've got Vienna, we've got London, then we're back in the States. Football season's right around the corner. So much to talk about, so much to get into in the coming weeks, months, which I, for one, cannot wait for. I'm so excited for all of that. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.